Is math a human invention or part of the universe? Mathematics permeates through all things. It helps us understand physics, chemistry, and biology. It allows us to understand the universe and our planet. It enables us to regulate our daily lives using order and logic. Without math, our existence would seem like a chaotic assortment of frighteningly random events. But is the code of mathematics something we came up with to help us understand reality? Or was it something which already existed? Was the concept of mathematics invented or discovered? Will this idea die with us or persist long after we're gone? Is math a human invention or is it part of the universe? Number 3. The Platonic Theory In discovering mathematics, mankind has revealed the source code of the universe. This is the position of the Platonic Theory of Math, which asserts that numerical systems underline the very structure of reality, and that by researching and observing these structures in small, insignificant ways, we gradually recreated this system to help us order our lives and explain the world. It's like if a bunch of raccoons found the ingredients for a delicious sandwich at the bottom of a garbage can. Those dirty trash pandas wouldn't know how to make a sandwich, and they may not even know what a sandwich is. But the components of a sandwich would be right there in front of them, ready to eat. And after they'd spent several millennia chowing down on separate portions of bread, bacon, chicken, and mayonnaise, the raccoons may eventually come up with a concept of making a sandwich. However, since the sandwich concept existed before the raccoons thought of it, and it'll continue to exist after the whole colony is wiped out by a garbage truck, the idea of a sandwich can be described as something which exists independently of raccoons. I believe that last sentence was a direct quote from Plato himself. Similarly, math can be said to exist independently of us or any life forms who have discovered it. And what's exciting about this theory is that the more we understand the mathematics of reality, the more we'll come to understand the fundamental forces behind nature, life, and the universe. Number 2. Social Constructivism Everything seems to be a social construct these days. Gender, culture, pants, the moon, and now math, too. According to the theory of social constructivism, mathematics is merely a product of our minds. It is an abstract concept, which kinda maybe but not really fits with our observations of the universe. So we use it as a tool to analyze and investigate. As time goes on, we alter the rules to best fit the evidence we acquire. So, rather than being some eternally pure form of logic and reason as some mathematicians believe, the concept of numbers and functions can be debunked and improved upon as if they were any ordinary scientific theory. This would mean that mathematics is no more fundamental to the workings of the universe than language, drawings, or mime. All it consists of is a form of expression. But even if that's the case, these expressions must have a common basis in reality. To explain this, the logistic theory suggests that mathematics is merely an extension of human logic and reasoning. Contrary to some social constructivist arguments, Mathematical logicists claim that undeniable logical truths are the basis for all mathematics. We may have invented these mathematical concepts, but they aren't as flawed as constructivists think, since they're based on explicit definitions and logical deductions. These two theories both indicate that mankind's understanding of how mathematics works may be incomplete. There will always be new fields and formulae to discover, but if our idea of math is based on logic, is it possible we've made a logical error somewhere along the way? If math is like science and it can be improved upon, what new mathematical concepts are out there waiting for us to discover them? The concept of zero was created long after mathematics was thought to have been developed. So could there be something as fundamentally important as the number of nothingness which we've yet to identify? Number 1. Fictionalism When your parents find a nice thick cucumber and a tube of KY on your dresser and you tell them you are making a weird kind of salad you only get in France, 
This could be described as a useful fiction. You have invented a story to help someone else understand what they are witnessing. Some people, including philosopher Hartree Field, believe that math is also nothing more than a useful fiction, holding the view that numbers and mathematical objects are merely convenient, imaginary concepts which help us to do science. Whereas some scientists believe that math is a crucial part of all scientific endeavor, Field thought we could get rid of numbers altogether and still end up with the same results. He demonstrated this could be done by using a series of statements to define Newtonian mathematics without any reference to numbers or functions whatsoever, proving conclusively that while math is a reliable process which can be used to describe physical things, the statements math makes are inherently false. Under this assumption, math is, for all intents and purposes, nothing more than an allegory. So if this is true, then what might we discover about our universe and reality if we are able to free ourselves from the shackles of numerical reference? Should we burn all the numbers now? And if so, why have I already started with 48? What do I hate about this number so much that I've doused it in kerosene and set it ablaze? Who can say for sure? But maybe somebody should stamp out the number 48 in case extraterrestrials arrive. Because if math is a universal concept, or it's a system all intelligent life forms come to develop, then mathematics may prove our best shot at communicating with an advanced alien race. We're going to explore this in our bonus video, Math, the Universal Language, which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, You'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's full We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few, whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind-opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video chemicals of reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.